Hi guys, this is Zoro. Welcome back into my channel. We have uh, a new unboxing video. This is a series of uh, four unboxing video about my new purchases. And uh, today we have a big box over there. I have just opened it. And we have a few items inside. I will uh, divide this video in three parts. So we will start uh, with... Uh, the biggest item over there which is the Ontario so I bought this Ontario knife which is very big for two uh, main reasons because I've tried several years ago with a friend of mine the Ontario SP50 and uh, I love the knife, but um, didn't bought it back then. And uh, I love also the Ontario SP53, but it's very, very heavy. And uh, I've recently heard that uh, the Ontario is, uh, uh, is fail. I don't know how you can say it in English. Probably the company will close and uh, they will no more made... Uh, uh, this nice uh, knife made in the USA. I love the Ontario uh, design that uh, later became the ESE knife. They they divide and uh, they started another company, the Randall Training, etc. And the ESE knife. I'm not a big fan of ESE because I think that they their knife. Uh, are overpriced and uh, I have had a bad experience with the NEC Junglas but um, I think that the Ontario are more simple less expensive and uh, well made also in the USA so let's check this there is no seal on the case this is new from a store. It was uh, uh, left by on the on this shop probably for uh, several months, probably several years in the in this uh, online store because uh, from what I've heard they don't make this knife anymore. So this is new, but uh, it's probably from a few years ago. So it's. Uh, it's of course a Kukri from the SP series. So let's check over there. There is a card, an oath. Ontario Knife Company, price is over 130 euros of quality. You can probably read it by posting posts on the video. Limitation on ability. You are at least 18 years of age, older, okay. Let me check if there, there is something uh, about the warranty. Uh, global research products are backed by one year limited warranty. So there is a one year warranty on this knife. I'm asking myself if, this, if the warranty is still uh, good, you know, because the company is probably closed by now. But uh, several stores online have uh, some Ontario pro products on their store so uh, several products are uh, still available online and I suggest you to buy some of the Ontario that you like because in the future you will probably not find them anymore and I think that the best series of Ontario is the SP1 with uh, this classic handle the sheet is is nothing uh, you know it's, it's not a great steel it's very simple it, it's uh, probably will probably work as a sheet but uh, it's very cheap you know it's look like a very cheap uh, sheath but the main thing is the knife of course let's check the caution cuts out the sharpened blades in proper use I'm assuming I spray with care if not use the store okay so nothing over there let's check the blade man it's very big it's not super heavy, but uh, 
it's balanced very forward so in the handle you can feel almost the blade that want to to go on this side I love the design of the Kukri because um, probably came by the um, Greek copies uh, the copies that uh, probably the uh, in the Nepal uh, have seen from the Greek soldier of uh, Alexander several several centuries ago and they probably copy the uh, Greek design of the co of the copies the Spartan and the Greek copies and they made this sort of their own version and they call it Kukri so this is probably how the, the history uh, go back then on Tiger Knife USA Kukri of course man it's very very nice very well made The sheet is probably is nothing uh, super fancy, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's nothing, it's not too much uh, of a great sheet, but uh, it covers the blade you can put in your backpack or carry on your loop. This is probably uh, too short and too small, but uh, you know, it will probably work. I'm curious if uh, the sheet is also made in USA or it's probably China made. I don't know. There is uh, something right over there, which is a year 1889, which is probably the foundation of the entire knife company. Okay. Let's check, uh, there is something here, probably it's uh, oil, yeah, it's definitely oil, let's check the condition of the knife, there is a small spots of uh, oxidation over the script over there, I don't know if you can see well, and there is also a small spot of oxidation over there on the edge, because this was probably made several years ago and remained for a few years in the store, so let's check how it's made yeah the edge is not symmetrical so the edge is different from this side to the other one I hope that you can see well it's definitely not very well sharpened also the the point hope that you can see on the video it's not symmetrical so the edge is not the best thing in the world the handle looks very comfortable on, on the end. This is a great thing for a chopper like this one. It's uh, full, all full, full flat grind. And uh, yeah, it's, I think it's very well made for the price. I like this version of Ontario more than the Kabar one. I love Kabar, but uh, this Ontario version of the Kukri is probably better than uh, the Kabar one. And uh, yeah, I think that this is a good knife with uh, probably it will uh, need a better sheath and a better edge because this uh, edge is it's not the best thing in the world. It's not super sharp, but it will probably work for uh, some simple cutting test. But I will try in the, the next uh, few weeks and uh, yeah. I am definitely curious about the uh, the chopping test for this knife because the, it's very uh, particular for the shape and the yeah probably the chopping technique that you have to use on uh, a kukri and uh, yeah maybe we will do a few uh, challenge with uh, some other knife probably the cache of Camp 10 uh, or something like that. We will see in the, the next weeks. And that's all for today. And uh, we will see on the next video, which is the second and the third part of what is inside this box, because there are a few more items. So we'll see on the next video. Bye.